What's going on resellers, high beasts, and sneakerheads, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Duncan Boma, and today I will be bringing you guys a very short video talking about the Kim Jones Air Max 95s. Now, what we are going to be covering in this video is pretty much just my resale predictions. This is a shoe that at first glance might look like it has some resale potential. So I know there's a lot of questions about whether or not these will be profitable. And that's basically the, going to be the focus of this video. I'll be answering those questions for you guys. Now, the Kim Jones Air Max 95s will be releasing on March 19th for a retail price of $220. And like I said, there's a lot of kind of questions about whether or not these will resell. They are a collab. In my opinion, they're a pretty decent looking shoe. They also even have some apparel releasing alongside of the shoe, which are all signs of a hyped up collab that will resell very well. However, this shoe really isn't as hyped up as a lot of other collaborations similar to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit StockX, we're going to look at what resale prices are like right now, and then we're going to go into what they'll be post drop. All right, guys, so we are on StockX right now, and just off this first glance, it really doesn't look like these are going to be too profitable. Like I mentioned, retail is $220, which is kind of crazy high for an Air Max 95. Let's just look at some different sizes. The asks are actually semi high right now, which is usually a good sign. The problem is the reason they're high is because there's just no pairs in circulation and the bids are not looking good at all. Let's see what all the bids are looking like. We do have the highest bid is literally below retail. It's 215 retails 220 after taxes. That's going to be at least 230 probably. So really based off this first glance, it really does not look like they're going to be very profitable at all. Maybe could see a jump in prices to around 230 at the most. But again, with taxes, with shipping, there's going to be no room for profit at all. And I would 100% pass on these. Now, as far as holding them goes, I do want to look at some other Kim Jones Nike stuff. See if any of that has held up well over time. Here's another colorway, which does not look to have released yet. Let's see, release date. Okay, so these have not released yet either. And they're pretty much about the same couple high bids, but really nothing too crazy. Not really sure what the deal with those is. They're not on the sneakers app, but there's a couple different other shoes. Let's look at this one, I guess. Not really sure what this one is. Pretty ugly in my opinion. Retailed for $200 about two years ago and has not held up at all. These were complete bricks, it looks like. Look at this black colorway looking like the same deal so no these are not going to be good holds these air max 95s are not worth going for at all 100 pass do not waste your money on them but yeah guys that's basically the video as you can see these are most likely going to be bricks there's going to be no profit to be made here at all and honestly i wouldn't even recommend going for the sneakers app for these it's not going to be worth it there's plenty of heat releasing within the last week or two of the month so you definitely do not want to waste your money on these save them for the more hyped up drops and even some of the less hyped up drops that will still be profitable such as the midnight navy jordan threes or shoes like that so no this kim jones air max 95 will not resell at all and do not buy it Hope that this helped you out. Just a little short video to kind of answer those questions that you guys had. Good luck on any upcoming sneakers that you would like to resell. And if you do want a personal pair of these, good luck hopping them for retail. Thank you guys for watching this video though. Again, hope it helped you out. And until next video, peace out.